Hi everyone, in this task you're going to check for a prime number. So this task requires you to write a program that takes a number as an input from the user and displays to the user if the enter number is a prime number. So as, uh, as usual, pause the video, attempt the task and I'm sure you're going to do awesome and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, so how was the task? I'm sure you did great. So what are prime numbers? A positive in integer greater than one, which has no other factor except one and the number itself is called a prime number. So for example, we have two, three, five, seven, and then we have 11, we have 13, we have 17. These are all prime numbers because they have only the factor, they don't have any other factor aside from their own and one. What does that actually mean? So if you, if you have a number that cannot be divided perfectly by any other number aside from its own and one, then that is a prime number. And when it can be divided by another number perfectly, that number is going to be a factor of this number that we were talking about. So uh, we are going to create a number variable and I'm going to say integer. Basically, we need to have like a couple of if statements. So I'm going to say input, uh, let's say enter a number. Now, whenever we enter a number, we need to check its successive uh, factors. For example, number six is not a prime number. Why? Because it has factors aside from six and one. What are those factors? There are two and three. So two times three is six. That's why six is not a prime number. So, but before actually getting to the number six, we need to check starting from one all the way, starting from two, sorry, all the way to that number to find it fa its factors. If we don't find the factors, it means that it is a prime number. That's how we are going to solve this task. So we are going to say if number is greater than one, that is our first condition. I'm just going to write here pass, else, so if the um, thing is that it has to be greater than one. If it is not greater than one, we are going to say print number, and then I'm going to say is not a, a prime number. So this part is done. Now, what, what comes here? So first off, I'm going to create a for loop because we need to start from two and go all the way to that uh, number to find its factors. So I'm going to say for x, in range, we know it is greater than one, so I'm gonna pass in two, and then I'm gonna pass in the number itself, because that is our ending point, the number itself. If the number uh, modulo x equals zero, it means that it has um, a factor, right? So, uh, for example, let's say the number is two, and we get, we start from two in this range. So two divided by two, we are gonna get zero. That, uh, that is, uh, sorry, let's say the number is six. Uh, and we start from uh, x at two. So six divided by two, we know that the result, the remainder is going to be zero. So there we go, it has one factor. Then we go to three, six divided by three, you're gonna get two. So, so far we have two factors, which is the first one is two, and then we have three. Then we are gonna go to the next iteration in this range function. So x is going to be, so x was two, x was three, now x is four, <clears throat> excuse me, and now and that is not going to satisfy this condition. So we are going to break out of this uh, if statement. I'm just going to write them. So I'm going to say print number. Uh, what is this O at the end of it? Print number. And if it has any factors, we are going to say is not a prime number. And uh, I want to I want to take it to the next step, and I want to show the user why it is not a prime number. What are the factors that disqualify it from being a prime number? So I'm going to say, let's grab x, which is going to contain the factors. I'm going to say times uh, the other factors. So we are going to get one of those. 
uh, times round we are gonna round it so let's grab the number basically we are going to divide it by X and I'm gonna say is we I could have used the format a string you could go ahead and use that if you think that is going to simplify the process and then whenever we find two we are just gonna break out of this loop this for this if statement and you can see whenever I hit enter it basically goes out of the block of this if statement and uh, I'm gonna go back here to this for loop and in here I'm gonna add in an else clause and I'm gonna say print number is let me add you here and let's say it is a prime number so perfect let me save that let's run this code so I'm gonna say run it I'm gonna pass in two we know that two is a prime number let's pass in three because it doesn't have any other factor but what if what about four four has other factors like two times two is four so there you go it says four is not a prime number and why because two times two is four let me run this again let's say 12 so the first factor is 2 and the second factor is 6 that's why 12 is not a prime number let's clear this let's add 11 prime number 13 is a prime number 17 is a prime number and then we go to uh, 19 19 yeah it is a prime number 23 is a prime number then we have 24, 25, 26, 27. I think 29 is also a prime number. There we go. That's it for this task. See you in the next one.